Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn properties of subtraction in class 1. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Before going into the properties of subtraction, let us quickly revise what is subtraction. Subtraction is one of the four basic mathematical operations on numbers. To subtract means to take away from a group or group of things. When we subtract, the number of things in the original group reduce or becomes less. What is the symbol for subtraction? The symbol for subtraction is a simple minus sign. Let us go into the details of this video to first do a simple subtraction sum and then go into the properties of subtraction. You have six sun stickers with you. You gave away three stickers to your brother or sister. Let us now represent this in the form of numbers. You had six sun stickers with you and you gave away three stickers to your brother or sister. What is the remaining number of stickers with you now? 1, 2, 3. So you have 3 stickers remaining with you now. This is called as subtraction using objects. I have dealt with this in a separate video. The link to which is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. The answer that you get in subtraction is called as a difference. Subtraction of two numbers gives the difference. Just like an addition, the addition of two numbers will give you the sum. Here, subtraction of two numbers will give you the difference. Now, let us go into the properties of subtraction. In this video, we will be learning the properties of subtraction, zero property of subtraction, subtracting a number from itself, and subtracting 1 from a number. We will be learning each of these properties with sufficient examples, so stay with me till the end of the session. Let us see the first property now. Zero property of subtraction. When we subtract 0 from a number, the difference will be the number itself. What does this mean? Let us understand this with the help of an example. You have four balls with you. Your teacher asks you to give away a few balls to your friends and play with them. But you refuse to do so. That is, you do not give away any balls to your friends. So how do you represent this in the form of numbers? You had four balls with you and you do not give away any balls to your friends. Which means that four minus zero which means you are not giving away any balls to your friends. What is the answer? You will have four balls with you because you have not given away any balls to your friends. Four minus zero will give you four. That is when you subtract zero from a number the difference will be the number itself. Let us understand this concept with another example. Your mother bought seven oranges from the market. She asks you to share the oranges with your brother or sister and eat them. But you love oranges a lot. So you refuse to share the oranges with your brother or sister. So how do you represent this in the form of numbers? Your mother bought seven oranges and you do not give away any orange to your brother or sister. Then how many oranges you will be having with you? The same seven. Seven minus zero is equal to seven. Let us move on to the next property of subtraction. Subtracting a number from itself. If we subtract a number from itself, the difference is is zero. Let us understand this with the help of an example. You went to a birthday party where there were six balloons. 
you, along with your friends, burst out all the six balloons. Let us now represent this using numbers. There were six balloons. You and your friends burst out all the six balloons. So, six minus six will be equal to, how many balloons are left now? Zero balloons. So, when we subtract a number from itself, the difference will be zero. Let us do another example for the same concept. Your mother made five cups of tea. You and your friends had all the five cups of tea. So, how many cups of tea are remaining now? Let us represent this with the numbers. Your mother made five cups of tea. You along with your friends had all the five cups of tea. What is the remaining number of tea now? You do not have any cup of tea remaining. That is, the answer is zero. When you subtract a number from itself, you get the answer to be zero. Five minus five here is equal to zero. Let us see the next property of subtraction. Subtracting one from a number. When we subtract one from a number, the difference or the answer will be the before number. Let us see this with the help of an example. You have seven buttons with you. One button fell down and rolled away. What is the remaining number of buttons with you now? Represent this in the form of numbers. You had seven buttons and one button fell down and rolled away. Seven minus one is equal to what? Let us count the remaining number of buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven minus one will give you the answer six. Six is a number which is before seven. So when we subtract one from a number, the difference or the answer will be the before number. Let us do another example. In a pond, there were nine lotus. You plucked one lotus from the pond. What is the remaining number of lotus in the pond now? Let us represent this in the form of numbers. There were nine lotus in the pond. You plucked one lotus. What is the remaining number of lotus in the pond now? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We know that 8 is a number which comes before 9. So 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Dear viewers, all these properties will be very useful and handy when children start doing calculation of bigger numbers. The learning outcome in class 1 with respect to the topic subtraction are single digit subtraction with objects, properties of subtraction, horizontal and vertical subtraction by counting backward, subtraction using number line, subtraction by counting forward, subtraction of two digit numbers without regrouping, story sums, subtraction worksheet. Of these, I have completed the first topic single digit subtraction with objects in a separate video. In this video, we saw properties of subtraction. In my upcoming videos, I'll be covering the remaining topics and each of them will be in single videos. Links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy navigation to all the respective videos. You may also click on the in-screen video which will contain the playlist of all the videos in class 1 subtraction. Thank you for watching my video. See you again in the next video with the next topic in subtraction. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.